everyone, welcome to Virtuous Series' Kitchen. I know it's been a long time you have not been seen me. Okay, I'm back on board and I'm enjoying the weather. So I'm doing outdoor cooking for you guys. And today I want to show you how I cook sorrel soup. Back home in Africa, we call sorrel sour sour. So today I'm going to cook sour sour with no oil. Okay, we call it with soup, white soup. You eat it with fufu. Okay, it's also known as egusi soup. So let's get started. Okay, guys, see my table. Okay, let me show you. I covered it like this because I don't want any flies to perch on my food. Okay, in this bowl, I have some cow skin, I have some cow foot, I have some oxtail. Okay, right over there in that pot, I have tripes. Okay, beef tripes. Okay, right in that pot. On this side, I have my blended ogiri, fermented sesame seed, and my onions. On this other side, I have the egusi. Egusi is melon seed. It comes like this. So this blended one you have seen, I blended two pack of it, okay? On this other side, I have my sorrel, okay? I have my sorrel. When we are editing the video to post it, you're gonna see how I process it, okay? It's already prepared just to cook now. Okay, guys, so I have some salt. I want to advise you, this salt is very, very healthy, okay? Pink salt. But when you are getting it, get the one from Pakistan. even if you are having blood pressure it's good and in this cup I have my kanya pepper the reason why I'm not blending my kanya pepper because I have my parents who are not eating too much spicy food so after taking their own off then I'm gonna put my kanya pepper so let's continue okay guys my stripes has already cooked okay it's already boiled you can see it so i'm putting now my blended sesame seed fermented sesame seed and the onions this is what we call the alapa okay so i'm going to allow it to boil for like 15 minutes guys Okay. I like my egusi to boil well. Okay, so I'm going to put it as egusi now. Okay, guys. I use the smoothie bowl to blend the egusi so that it can be smooth. Okay, guys. 
got my cow feet, cow skin, and oxtail inside now, okay? Today I didn't cook any smoked fish. Normally we cook smoked fish, back home we call it dry fish. But I decided not to cook any fish in this soup today, okay guys? I wish you can just smell it. Guys, this kind of soup is good in the rainy season with good pepper. <laughs> okay, guys, I've already taken my dad's own out of the soup. It doesn't want spicy, so I'm putting some kenya pepper now. Okay, guys, I got this kenya pepper for my mother in law when I went home last year. Cabbage. I'm 
making the cabbage fufu, okay? I already blend it, okay? See? So, and I, one thing I want to tell you, never you make your cabbage fufu in your good pots, or else it's gonna spoil it. So use one of your old pots and make your cabbage fufu. So this is the cabbage, right? And this is my oatmeal. I already blended the oatmeal. So I'm going to use the oatmeal to bind it together. Okay guys? Then we're going to eat sour sour. Wait, sour sour. So this is how it is. Okay guys. So always put the cabbage first and allow it to start steaming. Okay. okay. Once it started steaming like show me. Once it started steaming like this, then you carry your oatmeal flour. a little bit more. a little bit of some water now okay okay guys it's just like the way you are cooking cassava fufu or corn fufu okay guys so I put some water now so that it will boil because you want the oatmeal too to cook okay I've been doing all these days because it helps me for the weight. I eat it with cassava leaf, I eat it with potato leaves, I eat it with stew, I make carrot fufu too. The day I'm tired of eating cabbage fufu, I switch to carrot fufu. The day I'm tired of carrot fufu, I switch to squash fufu. So I'm going to show you how I do in one of my videos. I'm going to show you how I do carrot fufu and squash fufu guys because sometimes we, we are not able to eat the vegetables so we are from africa <laughs> we cannot eat lettuce cabbage just like that so we have to find a way that we can enjoy it 
eating something so that I you can be able to lose some weight. So this is what I've been doing, guys. So whenever I want to eat, I just take it out, stick it in the microwave, and eat. So, so easy. So you see, I eat it with everything. And as you subscribe, please may God see you too in Jesus' name. Bye. Love you.